Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function that is list.product. List.product can do the product of the list elements and we are going to try that out. So I am there on the Power BI and in Power BI under the home tab I have option transform data and again transform data which will open Power Query editor for me. And here what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to create a list and try to multiply the elements of the list using list.product. So let me create a new source using the blank query. And once that blank query is created I'm going to right click and say advanced editor and in the source I'm going to give a list. Let me give a list 1 comma 2 comma 3. Okay. And let me show you what list I've created. I'm only returning the list and you can see that I am returning a list and that list is 1 comma 2 comma 3. 1, 2, 3 basically. In the list they are 1, 3, 2, 3 comma we have given. Now let me go ahead and again open the advanced editor and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to in the I'm going to add one more step. So I give comma, I say enter and I say list. It's actually not list one. I'm going to say product. And I'm going to say list dot product. And inside that it is asking for number list see it's specifically saying it should be a list of numbers and I give source there and why it is not returning me the pro product because what I have done here is I have not written the next step so I'm going to return the product here so you can see I'm getting the number six as the output and I'm going to get a single number and I can convert it to table if required that we'll do later. Okay, so this seems pretty good option. But what I want here is I have a table here now it, which has elements like 1, 2, 5, 7 and it's a column basically. And I want to use this column. And I want to do product. So how do I do that? And I need to do it in two manners. First if what happens if, if I want to do it in the same table. And second if what happens if I want to do it here. So first of all we are going to do it in query 6 and let's come back and do it in uh, the query uh, data query itself because there is going to be a little bit of difference when we are going to do it there. So I come here and I go to advanced property, advanced editor and in the advanced editor I will say product 1 is equal to and why this is giving error because here I need to give comma and say okay the line has ended and I say list dot product and here I'm going to say simple data, data A1 is the column and it will be treated as a list here. The column will be treated as a list, table column name, treated as a list. I'm going to return 1. So 1, 2, 3 and 7 that's going to multiply and will be giving us 105. Let's look what is the number here. 1, 3, 1, 3, no 2, 1, 3, 5 and 7. So 35 and 3, 105 and 1, 105. Okay, so we got 105. Now, what happens if I'm in the same table and I want to use this column? How do I do that? Because that's a little bit different from using it outside the table. Now, when you are here inside this one and say you are um, add, uh, uh, you go to advanced editor. I'm not going to do it in the advanced editor. Let me open the advanced editor here. And if you want to add here a step, uh, so definitely I don't want to return a single number or list here. But what I want to do is let me return this product into a new column. So I go to the add column and I create a custom column. Now when I create a custom column, I say product and each column, each row should return me the product. So I say okay list dot product and this is sometime you know when you type it here it can actually replicate and, and I simply want to give a1 here let's see if I double click here see a1 and it gives no syntax error but when you go here it gives you error because it's not the list it's the column and to get the correct column name what we have to do is again right click on this one go to advanced editor and take the last tab column last table which is written now power query when it is created these tables it, it's giving this table name so you need to remember previously we were dealing with the lists only now we are dealing with the table name and table now here this is the table name in the previous step where I am doing the product. So this is my table name and this table contains a column A1 and A2. Okay. Now I copy this name, I cancel it and I come back, I double click on this edit column or I can click on this setting item. 
and I give a table name and column name. Now table name and the column name we have given there. There it was simple because there is a data table which we know the name. Now here the names are there in the steps. So we need to take that name from the step and then we do it and now you can see. Now why 105 repeated? Because all the rows are returning the same column uh, product. Okay, so 105. So this is the manner you can actually use this dot product. Now we, we know we can use uh, it into a different table and get the product. Now I can convert this product into a table, to a table or to a list. So I can convert it into a, pro a table and now this is the table which contains the product of one complete column of another table. When I need to do in the same table, you know how to do it. So go ahead and try this out and do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.